For those that are on a budget, the RD5100 locator is ideal. It's a single frequency locator and it comes complete with the receiver, transmitter, um, and both the receiver and the transmitter have an internal rechargeable battery, a lithium ion that is. So it lasts a long time. The receiver recharges by plugging in right there. The transmitter recharges by plugging in the charger to the same port that the leads go into. And so there's a lithium ion internally here, but if that one goes dead in the middle of your day, you can put four D cells right in the back there and continue to locate. So that's a nice option. But this is a very simple locator. Radio Detection made this used in their guidance mode. Um, and so there is no antenna configuration options and all the other options you get on your 81 and 7100 series. The 5100 series straightforward. It's just an on-off key. As soon as you push the on-off key, the light turns on there, letting you know that you're ready to go. And then on the right side here, it will let you know when your battery is running dead. And it comes with a soft bag and a ground rod. Everything's well under $3,000. And there's virtually no training. It's for good, easy locates like this with the tracer wire. Since it is 83 kilohertz, it's a much higher frequency. Um, you won't want to use that high frequency on a real congested corridor, but it's great for locating simple locates like this, or if you're in cast iron, ductile iron pipe, stuff that's a higher resistance. Higher resistance calls for a higher frequency, and that's what the 83 kilohertz gives you. And so on the receiver, it's real simple. On off key, as soon as you turn it on, it's ready to go. You have your compass on there to let you know what direction the line's going. You also have your numbers on the center of the screen to let you know when you're uh, over the line. They're going to get higher as you get closer to it. And you got the arrows to tell you go left and right. And so as you get out there and start to do your locate, you're going to see the arrows push you left and right. And all you got to do is follow the arrows. It's as easy as that. The little um, line up on the top of the screen emulates the cable or pipe that you're locating. And so when that's at the center of the screen, you know you're over it as well. But as you can see, we're right over it there. We get a 600 reading on our, on our signal strength. Down on the bottom, you have an automatic current measurement telling you how much current you got coming from the transmitter. And then you got your depth measurement, which is also automatic. The compass is lining up straight, letting us know the line's going straight ahead. And go ahead and you spray the ground and continue to locate. It's as simple as that. And so there is one other option on here. There's up down arrows on here to control the gain level but that is not for your regular locating. That's only for when you have to go to power mode. And so this comes with a power mode, a 60 cycle mode to look for live power lines. Oh, there's one right there. And so um, you're able to tell what's live in the ground before you stick your ground rod in the ground or if you just need to search for a live power line or private line, you can easily do it by using the power mode. Once you get started, you locate, you hit the frequency button again, you're back to transmitter mode and so you're picking up your transmitter and you continue on locating so the one watt transmitter gives you enough power on a trace wire to go several miles if you're on a cast iron water pipe or a bare steel line you'll maybe get a block of a locate done but it's plenty of power for most people that are out there and it's less than three thousand dollars